Hello everyone. Do you know with help of theoretical work using specialized mathematical equations another planet was discovered about 175 years ago? This big success was achieved by French astronomer Urbain Le Verrier. Now we we see how this happened. The story begins when an apple accidentally fell off from tree, and Sir Isaac Newton observed what force causes the apple to fall on earth. Why it does not remain in air? On the basis of his observation after this incident he introduced a law known as Newton's law of universal gravitational. According to this law every particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. In simple words the particle with larger mass will have more gravity, and it will attract particle having smaller mass. This attraction is known as force of gravitation. This law is applicable all over the universe. Best example is the moon being smaller in size revolves around the earth. The earth being larger attracts moon with a significant force. Although very little gravity of moon also influence on earth in such a way that it causes ripples in form of waves in earth rivers. This is known as tides. The centrifugal force created by moon and gravitational force of earth becomes equal to each other causes the moon to revolve in fixed orbit. Likewise planets, also revolve around the sun in the same manner. In the year 1840 when Uranus was considered to be the last planet of our solar system. It was discovered through telescope and its size is about four times bigger than Earth. But here contradiction Newton's law due to its movement was observed because Uranus after its orbit it, it starts moving itself in irregular manner. This created big challenge for scientists. At last Urban Laveria he worked day and night to solve this problem and he concluded that the irregular movement in Uranus is only possible if a very big planet force influence on it although this was not practically at that time. On 23rd of September 1846, Urban Laveria curiosity was aroused that he focused and derived complex mathematical equation on the basis of his idea. Through his mathematical calculation he concluded that he marked pinpoint location near Uranus. He thought at that point there would be some planet, and its mass would be nearly equal to that of Uranus. Many scientists made fun of it because it was only theoretical based observation but not observed practically. Dr. Johann Gottfried Gala on basis of very a mathematical equation observed through high resolution telescope, and he found that results of mathematical equation were true. He found planet near pinpoint area assumed by Varia and not only this but its size was also equal to Uranus. And no at that time Earth's eighth planet was discovered which is known as Neptune nowadays. This was the first planet whose presence was successfully determined with help of mathematical equations. This planet was also observed by Galileo but he considered it as a star. Thanks for your time.